Hello students and welcome to Shindesan Mathwale YouTube channel and today we are going to solve a problem based on a construction which is a hot question and uh, which has been asked uh, in an exam for four marks. So without making any due, let's start constructing the problem which is given. Okay, so we have a problem here. So let me minimize this. Okay, so we have a problem states construct a cyclic quadrilateral PQ areas such that PQ is equal to 7 centimeter, QR is equal to 6.4 centimeter, PR is equal to 8.4 centimeter and PS is equal to 5.1 centimeter. This is the first time we are going to construct a cyclic quadrilateral which makes this uh, a hot question. So let's start constructing it first. We are going to make uh, or going to construct or draw a segment which is a side of our cyclic quadrilateral PQ which is 7 centimeter. So I am going to draw a segment PQ all right which is 7 centimeter okay. So this one is the segment PQ, 7 centimeter. So let us assume that this end point of the segment is a P and the remaining is Q. Now we have a segment PQ of a 7 centimeter, which is a side of our cyclic quadrilateral. Now next, we're going to draw an another side of the same that is QR, which is equal to 6.4 centimeter. For that, I'm going to use the compass tool. So this is my compass. I'm going to align this compass on Q because the next side is a QR and I'm going to take a measure or length 6.4 centimeter in the compass. So 6.4 centimeter. Okay, this one is a 6.4 centimeter and I'm going to draw a uh, an arc of a 6.4 centimeter course. So, okay, 6.4 centimeters arc. So, now we have a segment PR in the same cyclic quadrilateral which is equal to 8.4 centimeter which is nothing but the uh, diagonal which is one of the diagonal of the quadrilateral which is equal to uh, 8.4 centimeter therefore I'm going to put this point on P and taking the length of 8.4 centimeter in the compass so this is 8.4 centimeter and I'm going to draw an another arc of the given length, uh, which is 8.4 centimeter. Okay, so these arcs are not going to intersect. So I'm going to draw or extend this arc, which is drawn earlier. All right. Now these arcs these arcs are intersecting each other and I found a point of the quadrilateral which is R. All right. So I'm going to fix it. So this is our point R of the quadrilateral. Now I'm going to join a PR and QR. So let's do that. This one is a PR. And another segment is QR. So now we have found uh, a triangle PQR here. So I have to draw a circumcircle of this triangle. Okay, means uh, three vertices of our cyclic quadrilateral PQRS will be on a circle. And after that, after drawing a circumcircle of triangle PQR, we will uh, find a fourth vertex of the quadrilateral, which is a S. So first of all, let's draw a circumcircle of this triangle. 
to do that, I have to uh, draw perpendicular bisectors of two sides of this triangle. So first, I'm going to draw a perpendicular bisector of uh, PQ for that. I'm going to put the point of my compass on P, which is one of the end point of segment. And I'm taking more than half length of a PQ and I will draw an arc. At below and one at arc at the upper side of a PQ. Now, without changing the length, I'm going to put or place my point on Q, which is an uh, which is a second endpoint of segment PQ. Don't forget, we don't have to change the length. And now, I'm going to draw an another arc which uh, will intersect the earlier arc like this, okay? Putting the point at uh, the same vertex Q, I'm going to draw an another arc of the same length, which will intersect the arc below, which we have earlier drawn, right? So I got two points which are intersecting each other. So now I'm going to draw a line through this point and uh, this one. So that will be nothing but the perpendicular bisector of a segment PQ. Like this. Okay. Now I have to uh, draw an another perpendicular bisector of any of the two remaining sides. So I'm going to draw a perpendicular bisector of the segment QR. For that, I'm going to use a different color. All right. To draw the perpendicular bisector of QR, I'm going to place a point of uh, my compass on point Q and uh, taking a length more than half of QR, I'm going to draw a uh, an arc. All right. Placing the point on the same vertex, I'm going to draw an another arc to the opposite side of the segment, like this. Now, taking the same distance, I'm going to put the point of compass uh, on another endpoint of a QR, which is R. Don't forget, we don't have to change the length. Then, I'm going to draw an another arc, which will intersect the earlier arc, which will fix a point and the same process will be occur here also. Hold on a second. All right. So now I got two points which are produced or generated by intersecting these two arcs. And I'm going to draw an another line through these two points, which will be uh, the perpendicular bisector of the QR, of course. So simply I'm going to draw a perpendicular bisector of QR like this. Now, I got a point of intersection of these two perpendicular bisectors of two sides of a triangle PQR. Okay, so I'm going to fix this point. Now, I will put this compass on point, uh, this point of intersection and I will take a radius of length up to any vertex P, Q or R. Hold on a second. All right. And taking this radius, I'm going to draw a circle, which will be the circumcircle of triangle PQR. 
So this one is the circumcircle of a triangle PQR. Don't forget, we have to construct a cyclic quadrilateral of a given lengths or given values. Now, we got a triangle PQR, which are uh, the vertices of a quadric cycle quadric, uh, sorry, cyclic quadrilateral, sorry. Then I just have to find one vertex of the quadrilateral, which will be on the circle. And for that, I'm going to draw a segment PS, whose length is 5.1 centimeter. So I'm putting the point of compass on P. Then I have to take the distance of a 5.1 centimeter in the compass and I have to mark an arc which will intersect to this circle. And now this point of uh, intersection of arc and circle will be the fourth vertex of the triangle which is point S. Now simply I have to join a PS and RS. So I'm taking white color. All right. So this one is side PS. Hold on a second. PS and then SR. That's all. Now you can see we have a quadrilateral PQRS of a given length and all the vertices of the quadrilateral PQRS lie on a circle. Therefore, we can say quadrilateral PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral and this is our final step of construction. So this is how we can construct or draw a cyclic quadrilateral of given length. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.